What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome back to Risk of Rain 2. We're continuing the same run from our last episode. Or at least our last Risk of Rain episode. Yee. Man, suddenly I have got a lot of cash. I had no cash and now I have a hundred, uh, almost 500 cash. It's kind of crazy. But I'll take it. Now I just gotta find all the items, wherever the hell they are. Um, looks like I see at least one down here. I'm not paying for Lunars. I'm trying to save all my Lunars. Ow, the hell? Oh, hi, there's a lot of shit up here. Um, another potential active. Yeah, I've got the money for it. What is it? Foreign fruit. Okay, that one's a healing item, but I kind of like my black hole. I don't think I'm really gonna find one I like better than the black hole, but I keep checking just in case. Uh, what's back here? Did I go back this way? I don't think I did last time. That's a gun turret, I don't care. All right, I'm gonna leave that alone this time. I'm gonna open that up though. Leeching Sea, dealing damage heals you. That's certainly gonna be useful. I'll grab the cash, keep murdering the enemies. All right, let's get out of here. Head back where we came from. I still need to find the teleporter. I don't know where that is yet. Okay. Is this the way I came from? Yes, so I'm going the wrong way. Oh, sweet, chest. Pop it open. Uh, another war banner, so it's three of them. And a lot of items now, it's a nice change. Now, where's that teleporter? That's the third active item I've seen. Still not gonna, though. 696. Maybe I can find some really nice chests somewhere. Um... Oh, okay, I think I see the teleporter from here. Uh, what are those, stun grenades, I think? I don't really want the stun grenades that much. They're kinda nice, they stun on hit, but there's just a lot of other things I'd rather have. Oh, Jesus, I just nearly killed myself, didn't I? That would have been embarrassing. All right, what am I fighting on this tiny little area? Beetle Queen, okay. She's not too bad, I can handle her. Yeah, she's already down by half. Oh, that's one of two, sorry. One of them is dead. The other one still exists, but probably not for too much longer. Nope, she's done. So now we just sit tight and wait, really. Um, there's an item, it's another stealth kit, isn't it? Yep. I'm not sure what that one does, whether it increases the duration of your stealth, 
or whether it takes less damage for you to enter the stealth. Guess it doesn't really matter, either way. And we're good. Let's head through. God, I'm still at nine. I need one or two more. Two more coins and I could potentially get that other character. And I wanna know what they are, I'm curious. Wetland Aspect. That's a lunar one. Yeah, screw that nonsense, but I'll open that up, get the money. And there's a chest over here. Oh, that's a, nope, that's a corpse, not a chest. Should pay attention when I talk out loud. Might say fewer stupid things that way. Pow! Zap. All right, uh, good, 198. Crack it open. Another war banner, getting a lot of those. And I do like them, they're handy. They're not quite as good later, just because, I mean, it takes more and more experience each time to really benefit from them, but I guess at higher difficulties, it could still help. Um, Shrine of Chance for 135. I probably should not have done that, but oh well. Did it anyway. Take him out. Focus on the insects. Okay, historically I've had a very difficult time finding the uh, teleporter on this level, so I gotta watch for it. I need to try and keep moving as much as I can. Um, nothing yet. Need 198 to open chests, that's all right. That was not where I meant to fire that. Take him out, pop open another one. Tri-tip dagger, good stuff there. Another one. That's nice. Drops healing orbs on death. But I still need to locate that teleporter. Oh, another one. Okay. Crack open the chest, another tri-tip dagger. Okay, that's like the third one of those I've got, I think. And don't get me wrong, I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, I could, I could, I could, I could. Ooh, okay, teleporter, we're using it right now. I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Uh, overloading brass contraption, what the hell is that? Whoa, hi. Probably these special blue ones, if I had to hazard a guess. That worked out quite nicely. Well, that was not hard at all. I was expecting a way more difficult battle. Guess I shouldn't complain. All right, and now I get the level up. Thanks so much. Okay, well, I'm gonna wait for the level to expire. Or not the level, the teleporter. I'm gonna wait for the teleporter to finish charging. I'm gonna go run and grab that chest that's locked right over there on the hill. Uh, 
Oops, too far. All right, 90% done. All right, that should be finished. Crack it open, what do you got? Move fast out of combat. Eh, it's all right. Not great, but it's all right. That's just money, but I'll grab it and then I'll, okay, yeah, I'm moving back. Doesn't seem to be much else for me on this level. into impossible difficulty. Level five, I think. And we're back here, okay. I guess I don't really mind, I'm just, I've been here before. This is the second time a level's repeated on me during this one run. I need 262, and I've got 262 now. Another sticky bomb. Probably increases the chance of the sticky bomb actually going off, right? I don't know, pure speculation. Okay, I see a shop. I'm gonna take the soldier's syringe on this one. Oh, I need 262, damn it, okay. Let's work on getting the cash. Then I'll go get the soldier's syringe. Okay, got my cash. 262. Gimme, gimme, gimme. See what I can do here. Kill the wisp. Then he's next. And there's the teleporter. All right, trigger it. I'm just gonna kinda sprint towards the end here, I think. Magma Worm. Uh, oh, I think I've dealt with him once, but I was nowhere near high enough of a level, and so he just smoked me. Yeah, that's him. murder everything in that area. Please and thank you. Okay, good, that'll help a lot. I don't like this special enemy sitting right here in the middle of all this either. That's not something I need to be coping with. Oh shit. Ow, 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 ow. That's really not good. That is very much not what I wanted to be coping with. All right, this worm's almost toast. Another rose buckler, I like it. Yeah, these fights would be a lot more drawn out if I were playing on the normal difficulty. I've never played on easy, so I had no idea what to expect, and it is as advertised. Ooh, what the hell is that? Uh, all right, let's go in there. I normally, I've seen that once before when the shop was activated, I think. 
But I don't... I didn't activate the shop, so I don't... Maybe it just periodically pops up? Who knows? Let's find out. Whoa, where the hell... Hidden Realm, a moment fractured. Alright. Oh, shoot. Yee, what the hell? Um... Whoa. Okay. Where the hell am I? I don't know this place. This is weird. Oof. Can I shoot those? No. Oh, hi. Thanks for that, I guess. Boink. Boink. Oh, nope. Just dash. Okay. Um... What is over here? Hmm? Oh! Obliterate yourself the obelisk! Okay, so this must have been the ending. Alright, um... Or what? I guess I could either go obliterate myself or keep going? I don't know. I'm gonna do this. I want the character. Are you sure? Uh, I suppose. You achieved true respite. There you go. That, I guess, ends the whole thing. Funded. This item will now randomly appear and runs. Deja vu. Item will now randomly appear and runs. Okay, I gotta look at those. Funded and deja vu. All right. So who'd we unlock? Mercenary. Mercenary can jump twice. Slice in front for 130% damage. Every third hit strikes in a greater area for 300% damage. Quickly slice horizontally twice, dealing two times 200% damage. If airborne, slice vertically instead. Dash forward, stunning enemies for 200% damage. If you hit an enemy, you can dash again, up to three total. Target the nearest enemy, attacking them for 110% damage repeatedly. You cannot be hit for the duration. Cool. All right, let's see the uh, stuff I got in the items. What did I get? Uh, I don't know. Like, it said that there were items... Oh, you know what? It told me that the items would appear now in random runs, but I actually have to pick them up before I get the item. Before it'll tell me what it was. So, um... Like, this looks like one of them, the outline of one of them, and I think this might have been the other one but I don't have them, so I don't know what they are. Likewise, I have to use the commando before I can actually get the stats on him, so. Okay, well, thank you all so much for watching. That's been two more episodes on Risk of Rain 2. This game has been doing very well, uh, and it's, I don't know, 30 days of release or something. It's apparently sold over a million copies, so people are liking it. I certainly do. It's definitely better with friends than it is by yourself, but I thought I would give it another go and show off some of the other heroes, so. There you go. If you want to complete the game, easy mode seems to be a way to do that. It's at least an easy way to unlock additional characters. Um, I'm not sure it's going to tell me how far along I am. Will it play the game with Survivor? Pause. 30 stages. Maybe it's under challenges. Ah, yeah. There you go. So I'm getting close to the 30 stages. I could probably clear it if I did a few more of those easy ones, but I don't know. And then I think two more, and if I get the right stuff put together, I should be able to get that store and free the other one. And I'll have all the characters for now, which is exciting. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Risk of Rain 2. Let me know if you want to see more, uh, or if there's any suggestions, or if you want to see other heroes, or if you want to see multiplayer, then let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, guys. And as always, I will see everyone in the next episode. Catch you guys later.